Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Power BI latest version on Windows Server 2022. Open browser, then go to microsoft.com. Then click on all Microsoft, then click on free downloads and security. See here we have the top download center categories, Windows, Office and Xbox and games. Click on Office. See here we have the Microsoft Power BI desktop. Click on it. Select the language and click on download. But see here the latest version. This is the latest version and this is the size of the Power BI download file. Click on download. See here we have the two types of downloads. Power BI desktop setup and Power BI desktop 64 bit. Okay, select the 64 and click on download. See, download has been started. You go to full download. See, its size is 499 megabytes. Wait until this download completes. See, download is completed. Now click on Power BI desktop setup. Click on it. Select the language and click on next. Click on next, check the checkbox, I accept terms in the license agreement and click on next. This will be the location, okay, if you want to change, click on change, otherwise click on next. If you want to create desktop shortcut, you have to check the checkbox and click on install. See, we have successfully installed Power BI desktop on Windows Server 2022. Keep the checkbox and click on finish to launch the Power BI desktop. See, on the desktop we have the Power BI desktop icon. We can double click to open. Double click on it. See, this is the Power BI console or dashboard. Now click on blank report. See here we have the desktop layout view and mobile layout view. If you want to add pages, you have to click on this plus button. If you want to get data, click on this drop down. And suppose if you want to import Excel data, you have to click on Excel workbook. See here we have the visualizations. Suppose if you want to add the pie chart, just drag it or double click on it. See, it is added here. Now we will see how to connect. See, I have installed PostgreSQL on this server. Suppose if I want to connect PostgreSQL, click on more, then see here we have the PostgreSQL database. Click on it and click on connect. Then provide the server name. Server is localhost because PostgreSQL is installed on this PC. Then provide the database. Then click on advanced options. Okay. Then click on OK. Then provide the username. PostgreSQL provide the password then click on connect see we have only one table then click on select the table and this is the data click on load here we will see the data see here we have the data click on apply changes wait it will populate column information see here we have the table and we have these two column names okay so suppose if you want to Add that column here. See, we got the pie chart. This is the way to create the charts in Power BI. You can also connect other databases like SQL Server, Oracle, IBM DB2, and almost we have the all the databases. Select MySQL database and click on connect. See. For MySQL, it is asking us to disconnect or request one or more additional components to be installed before it can be used. Okay, so click on learn more. So download this one. No thanks, download. See, it has been downloaded. Go to downloads. 
Now click on this MSI file. Click on next. Click on next. It is done. Click on finish. Now go to the Power BI. Then click on get data. More. Then select the MySQL database and click on connect. See, still we got the same error. So we have to close and reopen this. Don't save. Now open it. Power BI again. Now click on the blank report again, click on get data, more, MySQL, click on connect, give localhost and provide the database name, I am giving world, then click on advanced, nothing is there, click on ok, then select database, then provide the username, root then provide the password then click on connect see it has these three tables select it and click on load Now drag the pie chart or double click on it. Now select the city, select district and population, drag them to on map, also drag this population. See, we got the pie chart. So this is the way to create charts. Not only that, if you want column chart, stacked column chart or if you want bar chart, select just drag it, double click on it, then give the values country and population. See it has populated with country code and their population from the range or from district and check it and select it. See these are the districts. So, in this video, we have seen how to download and install Power BI Desktop on Windows Server 2022. For more videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.